Hi all. So this video is about uh, two things. The first is installing uh, the GPIO screen into your Raspberry uh, version 2. So this is an older version. And the next part of the video is calibrating your screen. Uh, the first part would be quite easy. As you can see here, this is a, a live screen of the Arduino and I will be showing you the uh, configuration on how to do it. Uh, so let us move, uh, let us jump to a website. So I do not have my own uh, page or something. So uh, I would use this uh, particular page, but there is a small error here, which I will tell you about it later, but let us begin. So as you can see here, uh, the Arduino is connected. It is already booted, I know, because I have used the HDMI port and booted it. So now the thing is, I have to display the screen onto the 3.5 inch TFT display. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to log into my um, PuTTY. So PuTTY is the tool which you use for secure shell SSH. Uh, to do that, you would first have to enable the SSH through the GUI. Uh, for that, you would need to connect your uh, HDMI here. So once you do that, uh, just close everything because I because I have to use my monitor here. So I have disconnected that. So now I use uh, my current desktop uh, putty screen to uh, configure my Raspberry. So uh, I have logged in using root. Uh, so root is pi here. So next I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy paste all this codes here. This is done. It will take some time, but yeah. So now let us move to, let me check, uh, yeah, we have, so uh, now we have a folder called LCD show. Uh, let us go inside that folder. Now once we are in the folder, the next thing we must do is <coughs> give it, um, give it uh, rights so that uh, it can be run. So basically we are giving it a 755. Uh, just I do not go into it detail, but just uh, do as this code says, it should work fine. Now, uh, once we are given it the proper uh, uh, access rights, now we need to again go back to this folder and run this particular file. Sorry, we were already in that folder. So now I am running this file. It will take some time. So till the time it loads, uh, let me talk about uh, the second part of the video, which is going to be about the calibration. So what normally people face is that uh, the this when they click on this part of the screen, it uh, shows uh, what it does is it gets clicked on this part. So uh, so based on uh, coordinate geometry, if we divide it into uh, first, second, third, and fourth quadrant, uh, we can, uh, basically there is a quadrant uh, issue, but uh, I tried to fit that logic into the quotes, but I could not. Uh, somehow the uh, the automatic configuration tools work in this flow, uh, one, two, three, four. So let us not worry about that. Uh, let, the, um, let the code get, uh, let the execution be completed, and we will see if our screen is properly calibrated or not. If not, I will tell you how to fix it. So I have done all this process once, but uh, just to make the video, I had to, uh, I mean, clear the uh, clear the memory card and start it all again. So now we can see that I think our Raspberry is currently booted. So I will press OK. We'll just wait for some time and then restart the session. As you can see, the it is booting on that screen. Let it boot and we should be able to do an SSH here. Yeah, uh, the SSH is back online. I'm logging as Pi. I am logged in now. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, the screen right now is inverted, but uh, see, uh, like I said, when I click on this, uh, it is on the second quadrant, the cursor is moving on the fourth. 
if I click on the first quadrant, it is on the first, but it is somehow inverted. So let us do one thing. So, uh, uh, sorry, you, you can see the screen both. So what I'm going to do is next, I am going to run a 90 degree LCD show. Uh, so what it does is it basically, sorry, not a 90, 180. So what it does is it uh, inverts the image by 180 degrees so that uh, you can see it here. So this is a good feature where you do not want the um, the ports to be facing on your side. Uh, it would be on upper hand side. So that's, uh, I mean, it's up to your choice if you want to do it. I'm just going to copy this and first I need to move into that location. Uh, what was the name? It was uh, LCD show. Yeah, right. CD, LCD show. Now oh, I will run it. LCD show 180. It should get configured in 180. Uh, you should see it as reversed now. Let it boot again. I have already created a restart session duplicate session so let me wait uh, till it gets booted it is booted now i will log in pi then i will give my password yeah uh, now as you can see it is now in upright position for this setting but again the same problem the same problem now what do you do uh, let us jump here into screen calibration let us download this particular app and uh, let me run it this is going to probably take some time building all the dependency and then running so uh, by that time, let me explain uh, what is actually happening. So once the configuration, once the um, this app is installed, uh, once this package is installed, uh, next what happens is you have to uh, make the changes as it is said here. The number should be 2083905. So basically it wants you to uh, match this particular page on your configuration file. Uh, it is done. So let me run it. I've copied this code. Oh, wait. Uh, yeah, I am in this folder now. Now I need to run this. Uh, before running, uh, I mean, I am not familiar with Nano. I will use VIM. Uh, if you are familiar with Nano, you can run VIM. Sorry, if you are familiar with Nano, you can run Nano. But uh, if you are not familiar with VIM, I will show you how to do the basic steps. Uh, sudo vim. Let us. Oh, damn it. I have to install VIM. So I will do a uh, uh, sudo apt open get install VIM. Package is yes, obviously. Working, working. Person. Come on, come on, quick, quick. Yes, uh, so we are now installed Vim. So I will go ahead and uh, run my, open my file. There is nothing here. There should have been something. Anyway, uh, if there is nothing here, uh, what I will do is, uh, I will go into insert mode. So to go into the insert mode, you have to press I. Uh, once you press I, now you can see here we are in the insert mode and then I will copy paste this particular code here, uh, this particular snippet here basically uh, 
So currently uh, the file is empty here. So I will quickly uh, punch in all the data. Put clause. Identifier. Calibration. Uh, next is match product so the product is a d a sorry a d s seven eight four six seven eight four six touch screen and next is option calibration yeah so uh, what uh, so the problem here is uh, what you have to do here yeah so um, once you have uh, written till here so uh, do not use this particular um, I don't know what these exactly are but I think these are coordinates but I do not know how or what they are so uh, I did a hit and trial I ran this it did not work uh, I did uh, a lot of combination there will be 16 I think I was successful in uh, eight or ninth trial uh, lucky me <laughs> so now we are going to use this particular number combination 3919 9, 9, 2, 08 uh, 236 3919 done and we will again and rest uh, you can keep it everything same option swap access uh, it's zero and let us end section so once you have written this uh, in the vim editor uh, you have to press escape if you press escape this insert mode goes away then you type colon or uh, then you write write for w then quit uh, colon wq press enter so now the file is now saved now let us just reboot sorry uh, so uh, we'll just check see our it is the problem still exists so i will now go ahead and perform a reboot so the screen has gone away uh, let my raspberry reboot So I have actually tried this uh, once but let's see if it works again because I have formatted everything. Okay it has gone back to the uh, old orientation. Oh no no it's back again. Let us see. Okay. So the problem is still there. Uh, you know why? Because uh, I did a 90 degree invert. So let me restart the session. Uh, login as pi root. And uh, what I will do is I will run in this particular mode. So I will go to CD LCD show. I, uh, sorry. I will run. Zero. Okay. Now I'm pretty damn sure it should work. Let it reboot. Come on, come on. Few more seconds. So we uh, let us see. 
Yep. See? Problem solved. Sorry, I cannot, uh, I mean, change the setting because uh, it, this is, uh, I cannot fix it with the uh, charging uh, cable here. So, but I just want to show you that this is working. Yeah, that touch is not very good, but you can see everything is working. Accessories. Terminal. See, it works. So now you know what to do. I will put down uh, all the um, configurations that I have used in the description below. Hope you like this video and don't forget to give it a like. Up to you to subscribe. I'm not going to force you. Thank you.